Female athletes have always needed grit and talent. But for decades, they've also needed a certificate. To prove that they were actually women, according to different definitions. And even now, they're still being checked and questioned. Their story is the newest podcast series from CBC and NPR's Embedded. It's called Tested. Listen now. Three best buds gossip about women's sports. <laughs> I am Tian Tran, she, her. I'm your fight master, they, them. Katie Kershaw, she, her. Wow. <sighs> we still got Olympic fever. We have yet to recover. But we're not starting there. No. We're starting with what's hot in the group chat. Oh, shit. We are. We are. We are. Here's what's hot, hot in, in the, the group chat. chat. We took a field trip. Yeah. Which we love, by the way. And if you have any other ideas for field trips, please let us know. Probably to public spaces, not yeah. necessarily oh, oh, yeah. private residences. Uh, kind of actually private residences, basement, sort of windowless. Ooh, yeah, yeah. interesting. Uh, disagree. <laughs> <laughs> we've we, we've been lucky now. I'm, I want to do more uh, of these. Yes, of these we really want to. The, one of the trips that we've been able to go on together was a trip out to the Connecticut Sun. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. To watch the Connecticut Sun play. Thank you, Lindsay. And just recently, we went out to a horse ranch because our jockstrap Victoria offered to show us around the Circle D Ranch in Norco, California. She was so cool. She was so cool. I think that people who work with their hands and with animals all day are cool. Yes. Yes. And it's out, like, not to, like, I'm giving a bio on Victoria, but she's done many things in her life, and horses have, like, always been there and kind of a thread and kind of a hobby. So it's so cool when you get to see people do what they really love and they're really passionate about. And to drive to Norco. I didn't know that hell existed out here. <laughs> That's wild. Well, yeah, Norco is a <laughs> fascinating place. Beautiful. 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 Mm, I, see, I think Norco is one of those places that re- you really become aware of global warming. Like, if you weren't already mm-hmm. like, oh, my God, we're participating yeah. every day in an ecocide. When you're in Norco... You are. You can see it. It's like yellow hot everywhere. Yes, yes, it is. It, it is. is. It is. And I would say in Norco, maybe the only place in America where you're like, I don't think they know there's an election going on. No, 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 no. They think Trump is still off- <laughs> in office, and they're stoked about it. Not our friend Victoria, but not our friend Victoria. Oh my gosh, not our friend Victoria. Or the Circle D Ranch seem to be pretty politically neutral yes <laughs> yeah well i think a lot of disney properties are and it was a disney property it was a disney um, property we unfortunately were told that quote unquote the horses didn't talk so we didn't that get to ask them up. about their who they're voting for so it's yes. a, so these so are disney kind of a... horses and they can't talk yeah they yeah can... they're cast members okay they are called cast members which I really like i do like that and they're and all they, working and they're all working and they all have also I didn't know horses were so big. I know that sounds... No. Uh, I, I, right. I know I, it sounds dumb to say, but I was like, I've seen horses in my life, I think. And then we saw these horses. And I was like, I've never seen a fucking horse in my entire They're, life. They these were are big. bigger horses okay. than normal. Okay, These are not huge. the horses you ride or horses you see in a derby or at a track. These horses are meant to pull. Do you? Yeah. Do you think that Disney would get small, weak little horses? They get big fucking horses. And... I was attracted to a lot of them. Now, okay. Okay. <laughs> Listen, this is a, a safe, lot of them are hot. This is a safe space. Thank you. Then I'll go on. We a lot of them agree, are hot. But we won't disagree Muscular, either. Muscular, large bums, large, I mean, 
the, haunches. The large haunches. Yeah. The yeah, whole the large. whole thing walking around so confident. So like, I'll kill you, you know? And then which I love in any femme, really. Mm, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. I don't particularly like, you know, the male horses were all they were charming. But some of those those that one lady horse that truly we came close and she was like not now yeah lily lily i've been thinking about her Mm. she was like she was kind of like the kate blanchett tar lydia tar of that yeah she she was she was conducting an orchestra and she was well isn't there a gay relationship going on between the there are two two (laughs) yes go ahead katie no no please 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 i just i don't remember their names but they're i don't either which is why i said please 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 It was Val, and I think I thought it was like an M. But I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna say it's Marjorie because they're lesbian horses. I don't know. Val and Marjorie, Victoria shared with us that female horses don't normally get along with each other, Mm -hmm. and these two are obsessed with each other. I don't know what to tell you guys. Lesbians, lesbians, lesbians. They've also got a soccer ball out in their little corral where they can like kick around and play. It was lesbians. Lesbians. lesbians right there they're so cute everything was cute where their food was cute i had a great time we all got to pick up the big hay bales uh-huh. it was like a hundred hundred pounds of hay bale everybody fucking throwing them up and happy we, about that we have photos I mean, uh, we'll post i wouldn't say that i was throwing mine up tian you picked it up and it shot towards the ceiling like it was an air balloon thank you yeah and then you caught it with one hand <laughs> thank you and i <laughs> caught it with one hand and put it back and i Spun it around, put it back. There is no world in which you picked it up and screamed, Oh! Yeah, no. <laughs> There's not a single world where I picked it up and was grinning from ear to ear and was like, Oh my God! No, that no, didn't that happen. Did, that, that, but, if people are saying that happened, it didn't <laughs> fucking happen, okay? As, as soon as Victoria picked it up, I said, this. We all need to do it. It's a competition. Yes. And I just heard you go, Oh, well, I don't know why... <laughs> Why we should. And then ER was like, we are. <laughs> we are. And well, here listen, we are. I have a lot of strengths. Including Mo- that one. That, including that one including now. Including that one now. It's including crazy, that one now. bro. Wait, since we, got on to, well, since we got to go on that field trip, what would be a field trip that you all would want to go on? A sports-related jock strap? I want someone to teach us how to climb. I want to, okay, okay, I want to climb. Good, 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 because I, okay, good, okay. I, I know that I want, I like, a, I want, like, an introductory course. I know that, and I just mm-hmm. think it would be helpful to go, like, with a cool gay person that's like, hey, because I, I do think, I feel that way about a lot of gyms where a lot of, like, sometimes the first time you go there, it, it's actually the first time that feels the most prohibitive. You know what I mean? Whether it's, like, just, like, the energy or you don't know where things are. So just going once, I think that would be a fun one for us. Okay, mm-hmm. I agree with that one, Katie. Um, I mean, not to get into what we're going to discuss later. I, rugby. I want mm-hmm. a lesson, Whoa. like a tackling like lesson. A tackling? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I that's what I want, Katie. One hundred percent. Okay, yeah. I also wanted to just throw that. I don't even know what you call it. A, the rugby, the rugby ball, the foot. Does I must have a name? Egg. The egg. I, <laughs> Someone teach us how to throw the egg, please. 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 We want to throw the egg. We want to throw the egg. Have you felt an egg before? They're awesome. Really? Yeah. They're like... Oh. <laughs> you, meant to, you thought I meant a real egg. One real, for no, one second, I was no. like, yeah, I felt a real egg. <laughs> <laughs> so I've never felt a real egg, but I've felt like a rugby egg. Oh. What's it feel like? What like a it? big old, like a big football, but like rounded. Like it does just feel very pleasing where you're like, something bad happened to this football. <laughs> <laughs> this is a football a of trauma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this football has a ton of trauma. This football has a trauma. ton of trauma. Yeah. I would like to go surfing. <gasps> I want to put that out there. I would love mm-hmm. for a jock strap led mm-hmm. surf lesson. Yeah. I've only been once and I had so much fun and I'd honestly like to do it again. Wow. I've had never wanted to in my I love watching it. Okay. I really fell in love with like surfing this year at the Olympics, but I can't imagine doing it. But I would try for you and I'd watch you and I'd cheer you on. Thank you. I need a I need some kind of sports psychologist to talk me out of my fear of uh like as I've gotten older, a fear of sharks. Okay. Does it make you feel better that there have been more bear attacks than sharks? 
I th- but the I think the thing is is like when when there are bear attacks. Uh, bears have the best publicist in the fucking world because when there's bear attack name the last time you heard about it now when there's shark attacks no. somebody is on the line to yahoo news oh my god and yahoo news is sent to my phone by my mom <laughs> yes and i saw a i say out of the woods i say out of open water yeah, okay. i'm not dealing with either but yeah, out of the woods too. Yeah, i say out of the woods i say out of open water okay sorry where I grew up in the middle of it, so I don't feel the need to camp. I don't need to explore it. Mm-hmm. Been there, done that, don't care. That's fair. Uh, and my mom has sent me pictures of a bear walking around the downtown of my hometown. Oh. But I saw a news story where a surfer's leg was mm-hmm. beaten, bitten off by the shark. And then it, like, just burped it out, I guess. <laughs> oh my. Did they get to reattach it? They were, I didn't see the end because it was an Instagram. And I went, <laughs> um, they were, Harry, find out. Love you. Um, they were putting it on ice to take it to see if they could reattach it. Okay. So what? I'm, okay. We don't want to shit on your dreams. No, I'm, no. I'm gonna join you in the water. Obviously, if yeah. we get a, if we get an invite, I'm gonna be out there with you. I'm just hoping that someone can Oddly, be like, don't worry. Same. Okay. So I'm hoping it's also just like we take it. Don't take us out too deep. <laughs> like yeah. I, uh, don't take us out where the sharks are. I'm I'm also scared, but there's I don't know. There's something about. I, I spent a lot of time in Florida. Water. I spent a lot of time in Florida boogie boarding, y'all. Oh, God, I loved boogie boarding. I, I mean, it, it just, if my elderly mom can do it, I can do it. You yeah. know what I mean? And so we're out there and we're boogie boarding and I am looking around like a fucking meth head for the sharks. <laughs> like I, <laughs> I'm in the water. I don't go under the water with my eyes closed anymore. I'm like ready. So I don't know what happened to me. I grew up in the ocean. I do not know what happened. I So this past fall, I was in Hawaii with my sister and she loves being at the beach. She loves being in the water. And there was this rock that wasn't too far, but just far enough that you were like, well, I'm really going to have to swim to it. Uh-huh. I'm not just going to kind of wait to it. I'm really going to have to swim to it. Uh-huh. So she was like, I want to see if I can. Oh, and just shit. started Here swimming to it. And of course, I'm not going to do that. I'm kind of got our little rented like snorkel gear, like looking around at all the little fish. And then I heard this guy go, kids, come here if you want to see a shark. No. And he was like, I don't know why I trusted this man. But he was like, oh, it's just little. It's not going to bother you. As if there couldn't be more. Little. When it, when they said the shark is little, it's six feet. No. It's and then little. my sister is like, I see her and she's like, just made it to the rock. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? So I start going in the direction of the rock. And I'm just like, what? And she's like, yeah, I made it. Woo! And you're like freaking out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then she's just swimming back. And I'm like, there is zero reason to yell while she's swimming. There is no need. Yeah, we a just in here. They eat you more when you panic. Yeah. Yeah, like just get her back. And then it was truly... We, I visited her while she was like on a conference. So for the rest of the day, it was like, we saw sharks today. <laughs> I was swimming with sharks today. Okay. That's, see, that's how, that's a good story I, no, for it's, the conference. Here's the thing. It's not a very good story, but for the conference. Yeah. You no, know it's what? Funny. I've, I told this in one of our first episodes. I'm try, really trying to think about it. I think it was when I got my period yes. on that boat yes. in the Bahamas. Yes. yes. And then they were like, you cannot get in the water basically because like the, like the sharks can smell so, so strongly that like, it doesn't matter if you've got a tampon in there. Like they probably already know about the blood. Like it was just, and so nobody got to swim because I got my period on the boat. Yeah. See now, this is why we're this podcast is so important because we've he- we've helped my trauma, your trauma. Yeah. Because also, like, is that even fucking true? Like, is it what is it just those guys being like, fuck yeah, we don't have to take any of these tourists no, in the I water today true. because the sharks can smell the boat on. The- <sighs> I also heard that if you <laughs> your period and you're in the water and there's a manatee, have you all heard this? That it comes to get you. Do you get to kiss them? No, it'll hug you. And be like, smell the blood and like want it, and then just like carry you down into the water, so you're just like crushed. I didn't know that they ate anything, but I don't know that it's eating. I think it's something about the blood, and also I think that's a fine way to die. That's a fine. That's a fine way to die. But Mm -hmm. I don't actually know if there's any truth, and I hope someone tells me. uh, Yeah, let us know if that's true. I don't think there's any way. Feel free free. Feel free to call us. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. We'll give you Harry's number at the end of the episode. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Well, now we're gonna take a 
quick break. And when we come back, it's Olympic talk. That was nice, Tian. Thank you. Bring glory home in EA Sports College Football 25. Experience the decibel-shaking soundscape of college football, putting you inside the stadium alongside iconic rituals and traditions. Test your strategic decision-making with an all-new composure system, player wear and tear, and screen-shaking home field advantages. Learn more about the MVP bundle, which also includes EA Sports Madden NFL 25 and can't-miss rewards at ea.com slash college bundle. The last thing you want to hear when you need your auto insurance most is... Thank you for calling. Please listen to your list of 46 possible service options. Which is why when you choose USAA Auto Insurance, you'll get great service that is easy and reliable. 24-7 online service for claims, access to roadside assistance, and more. All at the touch of a button. Start getting the service you deserve. Get a quote today. Ability to receive a quote depends on membership eligibility. Membership eligibility and product restrictions apply and are subject to change. USAA means United Services Automobile Association and its affiliates, San Antonio, Texas. I looked it up and according there's a lot of articles there's like, yeah, you can dive with the period. It's not a big deal. There's no great there's no greater risk of doing it. Oh, okay. What? Yeah. Really? If you Wait, I say Googled, that I Googled can you can you dive with period sharks? And all their results are like, yeah, you can. I'm, I'm not believing that. So we're supposed to believe that these motherfuckers can like smell blood from a mile away, but they can't smell my pussy. I think. <laughs> don't I know, what's don't the laugh. Difference? Let's let's get no, I Let's think get that's that's a good start. <laughs> yeah, we're we're back. We're back. Actually, we're back. we're back. Okay, so so our our I hate to say this word male producer just said that basically period blood doesn't count as blood. <laughs> that's not what I said. Yeah, it's not real. He was we kind of like you asked me to look it up, and I looked it up. He was like, it's not real. He even said I looked up period blood isn't real blood, right? That's what he googled. Yeah, I got. Yeah, no, I got. I'm faking it. Do they actually bleed or yeah. is it a myth? Is what they just looked at. That's so weird. Anyway, fuck. Let's talk about the Olympics. Woo! What a ceremony. Yeah, we got to start from the beginning. Yo, okay. What a <laughs> ceremony. Okay, okay. I have not been online recently because I've been feeling um, like true, true existential dread. And mm -hmm. so I've been trying to be online less. And so I really didn't get to see any of the dialogue about the opening ceremony. Oh, really? What are people saying? <laughs> <sighs> okay. It is, I feel like, a mixed bag. I feel like I'm, yeah. I feel like the she, gays, and theys love it. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, count the day out count the days out okay maybe the gays just love it yeah i mean here's but uh, that was for gay men yes and only because personally i watched it and i was like what the fuck? oh yeah i put it, like, put it in the on. arena they kept being like this is the first one not in an arena i'm like put, put them in the arena there's a reason why we do it in the arena yes. i want it to be concentrated i want it i want everything to be happening in a fucking arena so i can watch it i can't even believe that we were cutting back at, you know that that was the worst show in person oh, oh my gosh it wasn't a it show. wasn't a show it's like they turned the like it what you love about theater <laughs> is that you show up to a place and it's all just there. Yes. You don't, you, you don't have, they like sleep no more to the Olympics. I know. I mean, it's truly like, Whoa. you know, yeah. they made Whoa. everyone like walk and watch and cut and like. Because even theater, you want it in one fucking spot. You want it in one spot. Oh, it reminds me of being in college and being like, um, yeah, I'm a part of this dance piece. It takes place all over Cincinnati. <laughs> And you're like, so you're going to have to kind of start in Fountain Square and then we're going to kind of make our way up and I'm going to be on a bus for 90 minutes dancing like no, no one liked it. No one came. I, I would. There are also some moments I we can even fucking take this out if it's too negative. The can can dancers. The can can dancers were. I'm sorry. Oof. Some of those those gay those ladies were not even kicking. 
No. They were they were fully phoned in, and and I and I had read like in some news thing just super briefly that there was like potentially like a strike. I like, read that too. Yes, yeah. I read that too. And then and then it kind of got disappeared because I was like trying to find the article about uh-huh. that, and I don't. I just didn't look hard enough, I guess. But it was like the dancers go on strike because they're not being treated well enough. And then I watched, and I was like, okay, these can can dancers kind of suck ass. <laughs> <laughs> and are they protesting? Should we be treating them worse or better? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. I don't know. Well, I mean, well, then I, felt- read, I read another article that was like, wow, what an amazing moment. The the bad can-can dancing was a winky <laughs> nod to French humor. And I was like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> it was also like when we were saw the can-can, you know how they were like um, flashing like French phrases. And it was like, it's a popular French phrase. It will be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the name of it. <laughs> it's just bad can can dancing. It'll be fine. Oh. It wasn't fine. It wasn't fine. Okay, it wasn't a, fine. a positive I will say is that the French got a bunch of American homophobes to watch a threesome. That was cool. The threesome was shocking. That and It was amazing. shocking because the both of the, the like, it was that woman and then two kind of very effeminate yes yes you know i don't know how they identify but like more more i guess like male presenting people but very effeminate and so i was like oh this is actually kind of very queer and horny it It felt like a fever dream to me because we were i was on a plane and taking off as i was trying to like get my little like mm-hmm. plain monitor to work and so like it, it was cutting in and out as we were taking off so i'm like i'm like seeing it from off of other people's screens i'm like is that really a threesome you're, you're the only one that could have possibly watched like that it could have been worse for yeah. <laughs> I, was just, I was just like what is happening i can't what is going on but threesome I, threesome and the like last queer last supper oh yes but then there's been a lot of dialogue about the queer last supper um, because the Christian right of America is very upset that they would do such a thing as if the Last Supper hasn't been recreated on, like, The Simpsons. Like, it's been on <laughs> yes. everything. And then other people are like, well, they're actually doing the Feast of Dionysus, which is oh. even more just boning, Horn- sex Also, just hornier, like, way I'm sure people have talked about this, but, like, the Last Supper, that's, that can't be how they really sat. So why are you so <laughs> No sad? one was on the other side no of the one table? was on the other side. They were sat like a damn sitcom. <laughs> yeah. It was a multicam. It was a multicam <laughs> yeah. Last Supper. So in Central Perk. <laughs> they all just kind of sat there. Yeah, the, they did. The Hard Rock concert. The metal the in the middle metal. and the Marie Antoinette, kind of iconic. I Well, I thought that, I mean, I don't know, man. I just... <laughs> you know, you guys know my partner. My partner is an incredibly positive person. Yes. yes, yes. And she watched the whole thing in silence, and I was like, "Okay, good. It's not me just being a bitch." Because if she's silent about it, watching it, kind of like that was the noise she made the entire time. I was like, "This is this is devastating." And you know, my <sighs> partner was talking up. And down being like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> and my wife was like, I'm not watching this. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. We have a new rule on the podcast that Tian can only say my wife. My wife. Exclusively. Exclusively on the podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> the other thing, like, okay. Yes, it's very cool to put the athletes on the sand and have them put on beautiful boats. But why didn't we put all the athletes on big, cool boats and not certain countries? Bahrain? But had like the tiniest little speedboat that's like getting jostled around from the wake of the big boat. You're like, put everyone on the big boats. Yes, yes. Truly, it was like in the country of Bahrain, some are on small boats. Yeah. And they were like, we see this coming down the sin, and there's all this like fire we did not need. And then being like, if the triathlon started today, the level of E. coli would be too high I know, for them to I swim. Know, and they're God. just putting like gas and shit in the oh, water. Incredible. Oh, man. They're I, not doing it. You know who they're I fucking felt for? That I, to me, grade A Olympian was Kelly Clarkson, straight up being like, oh. She did such a great job. That that she did a good job. Oh, that's awesome! That's really incredible to watch, (laughs) and you could hear it in her voice that she's not practiced at lying. Yeah, yeah. it made me a massive Kelly Clarkson fan. Big fan, huge fan. 
Well, maybe we can end on a high note before we move on into the sports, but like Celine Dion. Oh, I mean, uh, I'm a literal high note. Uh, Have you all watched the doc? No, no. I've just watched a bunch of interview clips. Like I, I saw that interview clip of her being like, "This is what it sounds like when I sing." Yeah. <laughs> Watch the doc. No, no. Okay. Watch the doc. Okay. 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 It is okay. Phenomenal. Okay. Well, watch yeah, the doc. Watch the doc. Oh, here's okay. Here's my actual positive to end on. That is the positive. My because we didn't watch the doc, so I have to add a rope. A positive for my brain. My. I was impressed that they took such a big leap. I do like, I applaud. Oh, okay, creative. I yeah. applaud the French for doing that. I don't think we ever, I don't think um, many other countries would have been brave enough to take it outside of the arena like we're talking Fair. about. Mm -hmm. And listen, what they did in some ways was really spectacular. It was on such a grand scale. I've really never seen anything okay, like that, that I, in my fair. life. Entire, an entire city engaged, like all their monuments engaged, all of these people employed, all of these artisans mm -hmm. employed that's absolutely crazy and you know that people are going to keep moving it outside of the arena from now on so we are going to get bigger spectacles forever now because of the french so merci yeah it was yeah, very merci. french we needed that merci. minions interstitial <laughs> fuck off with the advertisements we were ending on a negative what's going on with this let's go there back to so Celine. What? Celine the Louis Vuitton advertisement I too I know stop this but you're right about the activations of the different monuments like okay the torch getting lit and rising up for the, from the Tuileries. Oh, that was that amazing. That was fucking cool. Did we ever find out um, who, uh, who the little yeah. person, masked person oh, was? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, listen, I didn't like that. I wanted it to be Macron, but it was not. I, <laughs> I, the also I like that. Uh, what's his face was like, and he's off again. And Kelly Clarkson was like, or is oh, she? she? We don't know. And then, <laughs> and then the next, we go to commercial break. We come back, and he's like, yeah, the individual. And you can tell that he's like pissed. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it's true. You, you don't know, and you I'm don't know. And that person was so lithe. It, it, it probably was a woman. Sorry. I oh, I think it was multiple people. No, you know what. That was a non-binary person. Yeah, that was, that yeah. was a five yeah. was four non-binary person. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the, yeah. the non-binary parkour. Yeah, yeah, athletes. <laughs> yeah, and we cannot forget them. We cannot forget uh -uh. them. Mm -mm. Okay, uh, <laughs> moving on. Can't believe we have to. I know. I well, could, I could talk about it forever. Go let's ahead. Let's go more negative. <laughs> yeah, talk about the Olympic Village. <laughs> What's with the cardboard beds? They had them in Tokyo. I know they did. They're... Were they successful then? I don't remember how people felt. I feel like why I feel like don't the COVID they want them all... fucking? Truly, why don't they? They're Olympians. Make them breed. Did you yes. see the Brazilian that was sent home? No, yes. for what? And, and her boyfriend was not. I know because she she was sleeping with her boyfriend, who's also an Olympian, and they gave them a warning, and she was she I guess got angry, which is understandable. And they kicked her Sent out. Her, and they didn't send him home? He didn't no. get angry. He said, okay, thanks for the warning, I guess. Oh, my. How could you not be letting them have sex? They should be. Ha this is where. This is where it's supposed to. Ha this is where it's supposed to happen. This Thank is you. Where, this is the only place sex is supposed to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> what team would you go and try and, like, go, like, hit on? Oh, let me tell you. I would want one of those little rugby players to pop my fucking skull between her beautiful <laughs> thick thighs. Okay? Oh my gosh. I, that, 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 and then Katie and I would be like, oh, there we go. I gotta pick up Fight's eyeballs again. Yeah. <laughs> Always no, happens. No, no, let me die. <laughs> <laughs> Always happens like this. Smush the brain back in and let's keep going. I'm begging you. What about you, Tien? I mean, I just am always drawn to soccer. I know it's such a predictable. I just, but like every team of every nation, all the soccer girls, please. All what what do you think it is exactly? I don't. I th I think there's some. I don't know what it is. I think it's the swagger. I think it's like the endurance of the sport itself. Like I'm like, if they're running for ninety minutes straight, ten miles on average a game. They're going to be able to they're fuck me a, good. They're going to be able to fuck me good and fuck me for a very long time. <laughs> okay, wait. I have, a, I have a serious question. Is there, like, there's so many different types of athletes, obviously. Do you like a, like, 
physically like swaggier like like i do you go more horse girl or more rapino oh that's so interesting because those are it's like ponytail no makeup or it's like they have like beautiful braids that are like dyed pink or like a short haircut that is blue like Uh, i go i think i i think i go like ponytail no makeup that's what i thought <laughs> oh my god the look on your that face that is right what now. i thought that's what i thought yeah. and, you, and you know why because i've met your wife <laughs> <laughs> that is true sorry i have a type it's no, my it's life cute. <laughs> it's cute. my okay. life, my life. <laughs> um i would say this is to no one's surprise um, I would say it's um the entire shooting team from South Korea. Jesus Christ. Okay, I to no one's surprise was I honestly was to everyone's surprise yeah. for me. I thought you were gonna go with the little horses. Yeah. No. Because you're always talking about the equestrian stuff. I do love it. But why are they so good at shooting? And what is it about them? That Have like? you seen them? No, they're insane. And their outfits are unreal. Their outfits are sick. They're wearing those glasses. They're looking like they're so intense. I would say to <laughs> no one's surprise, I'm picking an odd. Oh, oh. I'm picking an odd. Because you yeah. have to understand, I wouldn't have guessed that in 100,000 years. I don't well, think- right. And I would say that's fairly <laughs> typical of me. Okay. You're all, Do you you're, see what I'm saying? Yes, now? yes, yes. yes, yes. You kind of get. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think it is about that specific skill set that the, gets you absolutely is it raw? Sort of the, the finger trigger. Is it that? Is it this? Yeah. Is it this? Is it this? <laughs> that they, might they... have something to do with it. I think it's like the the pure intensity uh, and just like the like this like reserved because I I feel like. I in my house Olympics it's the only thing that's on and everyone's like yeah woo you get this like really intense like athletic energy mm-hmm. that to me is also like it borders on nerdy even if there's swagger ah uh, okay and there is just like business but your partner is very intense and so I love this I'm like I feel like this yeah I feel like if your partner were to pick up a sport it would maybe be this that's hilarious and I cannot wait to tell her. <laughs> What else? What, what else what would else? it be? Yeah, I don't know what else it would be. You, 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 it would most likely be shooting, folks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I don't have a time, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. No, I think she would be very good at it. I think I so know too. She she's yeah. so focused. She's so smart. I know she's so smart. It's great. My girlfriend's so smart, you guys. But. Yeah, I, I that that would be my answer. Like I can't stop looking at those pictures of them. I love it. How do you think Borat would say my girlfriend? <laughs> no, you wait. For, don't overthink it. Just go. You are gonna go. My girlfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> My girlfriend. Borat. My girlfriend. <laughs> Borat is like a French sewer person. <laughs> yeah. And maybe it was Borat. Maybe, maybe. the individual <laughs> yeah. was the, Borat. The masked we, individual. They went all the way down to the, like, the sewers and shit and they didn't see a single Ninja Turtle. Not a single one. Not a single one. Or you, you have and ar- they're like, they're the arts there. They're. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Da-da-na-tale. Da-da-na-tale. Oh, wait. Do we have more bad news? We do. Mm-hmm. Honestly, we are the podcast that's going to be real with you because everyone's just being like, and we're going to go, clip it. That's clip real. It. <laughs> that was awesome. Clip it. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, we're telling Love you the real news. It it is true. Like I be like we will do maybe a more positive Round episode yes. next or some shit. But this is kind of we haven't seen each other in a second. A lot has happened. And you always start with negative when you're with your friends. Please, you when do. you're with your boys. You yeah. Gotta, yeah, you we're gonna start in the, the dark. heaviness of the darkness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so this actually fucking sucks. Yes. Uh, we've got a hijab controversy with the French, obviously. Because France is historically incredibly Islamophobic. Mm-hmm. And so they have banned their athletes who wear hijabs from letting them wear 
hijab. So we have this hijab ruling where a French spinner or sprinter sparked controversy by revealing she couldn't participate in the 2024 Olympics opening ceremony due to her hijab. I, France's rule banning headscarves for women Muslim athletes, citing secularism, has faced criticism for being discriminatory. Yeah, because it is. 100%. Despite a later concession allowing her to cover her hair non-religiously, ban- that's such bullshit, bans remain in various sports, including football, basketball, and volleyball. Human rights groups have urged the International Olympic Committee, fuck y'all, to overturn these bans, mm-hmm. arguing they stigmatize and exclude Muslim women. Legal challenges are ongoing with activists em- emphasizing the need for solidarity and support, of course. I'm sure there are so many athletes wearing, like, cross necklaces. 100%. Like, and, and it's just so the uh, the French have such an Islamophobia problem. They really, they really do. do. They and, and really to, really do. To get caught in the act when you're fucking hosting the Olympics, to be so so Islamophobic that you're not even worried about the world being like, "Hey, what the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's bold. That's like a bold amount of racism. Yeah. It's so true about the cross necklace. Like it is I'm There's saying wear so, it. I'm just like, but that no, is but like, it's yeah, the same it's the same thing. thing. It's the same thing, in my opinion. Yes. Like, it is like, I, I, what was your, what did you say that their argument was? Is that they were like, so you're a, you basically are working for the French government in a way. Like you're a public servant, and a huge thing in France versus we have freedom of reli- religion. They have freedom from religion. I see. Um, but that is okay interesting in thought okay but it always targets islam yep. and muslim women like you don't necessarily see necessarily see it maybe i'm wrong but across religious garb yep because i'm sure the nuns that exist in france aren't can cover told, their heads right can yeah. cover their heads but, but freedom from reli- freedom from religion is are already the, like what a shaky excuse because yeah. i'm not being my rights are not being infringed upon mm-hmm. by seeing a nope, woman in a hijab i know i think it's like it, to me that interpretation is like the uh, how they should interpret is like freedom from religion of like imposing it on someone else like like if you yeah, went like, to I, saudi right, right, arabia like, yeah. and and they made every woman in the olympics wear a hijab we might have a problem on yes. our hands right, like right. that is that is absolutely a, would be a an oppressive thing. decision yes, yes. Yeah. And how devastating to see there's so many athletes from so many countries choosing to wear hijab. And then here you are wanting to be a great host and wanting to be an Olympian and you cannot even express yourself or just follow a belief that is deep within you. Yeah. While doing so, I want collective action here. I think if if we were gonna posit uh, an actionable thing, it would be I wish that the women who believed in freedom of expression would all wear hijabs to their events. That would be really powerful. Yeah, I, to, I mean, it would be sh- incredibly powerful. And you know, I don't, I don't think that that would. I think it would. You would hope that that would not come off as disrespectful. But like, it is, it is that we all. They they have more in common as Olympians yeah. than they mm-hmm. than they don't. You know what I mean? And so it's like you have to actually support each other. Like yeah, and also saying that you co- are covering your hair in a non religious way. So is it just the way Muslim women choose to wrap their scarf around their head mm-hmm. that becomes religious as opposed to it being a fashion statement? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm sorry. Like, there are plenty of ways that we're covering our our bodies differently yeah. at the Olympics. Like, once again, the people that are the that South Korean team and their fucking awesome out, outfits for the shooting event is going to look different than the jockeys. Is going to look different than this the mm-hmm. swimmers and their swim caps. Is like it, there's actually no reason to target one item of clothing aside mm-hmm. from racism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's all it is. Mm. I love the French. I love I love the French. French and I love the IOC. <laughs> well, we can end on a little higher note of like what did you see in this first these first couple of days that you are most excited about or like so pumped about in the Olympics. That's not gymnastics because I'm sorry I asked them to not talk about it because I haven't watched it yet. Um I'm really falling for surfing and rugby sevens. I 
Congratulations. Thank you. It's really cool. Surfing, I really, during Tokyo, I would say, you know, it just didn't really hit very well. The waves weren't great. I, it was a lot of just watching people in the middle of the water doing nothing. And in, <laughs> and then it would, they would randomly do stuff. But in, <laughs> but in Tahiti, that wave is insane and the people are mm-hmm. catching them nonstop. I personally have found, I only really watch women athletes, but Same. Um, I happen to watch a male surfing uh, round. We'll talk and about that afterwards. Yeah. The women were better. Like Caroline Marks of the U.S. dropped a full like story into. Yeah, I love this. A wave. It was insane. And then with bottom heavy. Yeah, and <laughs> they're better at the sport because they're bottom heavy. Same with skating. Okay. Sorry. I, uh, I love uh, a game that moves fast and not scores high, but scores often. And I feel like that is rugby sevens. Like. You play every position. You are moving constantly. I I really love it. And I just feel like our team, our U.S. women's team is unbelievable. And We got our first medal of all time, huh? Of all time. We got our first. We got Rugby bronze. Medal. Okay, And we cool. beat the Australian team <gasps> to do it. They invented yeah. it. We beat, uh, we I mean, beat I don't know if that's Great Britain. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like we slaughtered them. I mean, the final game, that was really hard. And that... That last point was insane, and it was beautiful, mm-hmm. and they got it on the two-point conversion. I'm learning a lot. Okay, cool. Um, Did you see the Australian players crying? Yeah, it's very sad. So the so. great, the great Britain, all the British people were crying too. I, I watched a lot of uh, highlights of Ilana Omar. Is that a, how do you say her name? Omar. But we once again, we were saying this before the podcast again. The we've only been hearing like British people say her name. So Alana. a lot of Amar. It's M A H E R. Right. Alana Amar. I've been watching clips of her straight up throwing people to the ground. It's it awesome. is so hot and so cool yes. to see her just fully like in stride, holding her little egg. And stiff arming people yes. left and yeah. right. I it's want so her satisfying. to carry me to bed. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I want her to read me a story. Yeah, I, I want her to to pick me up from one end of the field and run me to the end and score a little try. Is that what they're called? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, score a little try and then like put me on my little bottom in the end zone. Yeah, you have to put you have to That's put the sweet. egg or <laughs> yeah. your bottom on my the bottom. ground. Yes. Yeah, I'd like that too. Wow. Also, backtracking, my girlfriend, it would not be shooting. It'd be wrestling. She loves wrestling. Really? Really? Yeah. Shock of all shocks. Okay. Hilarious. I feel like she wouldn't like that. Loves it. Wow. Hilarious and terrifying. Would you wear the outfit? Huh? Would you wear the outfit? Yeah, would you wear the outfit? Because you have to think about that, Katie. I think if it was a, a neutral from Everlane. Okay, yeah. I heard that Everlane is sponsoring the next U.S team yeah so. and wrestling <laughs> um okay i i know we need to move on okay. uh but Disagree. one thing i'll say really quick thank you snoop dog thank you snoop dog it's been so great it has been really fun <laughs> it's been lie. Un- a charming man i know friend of the pod boyfriend of the pod boyfriend of the pod boyfriend of the pod yes. perfect grandpa of, of the pod, pod. uh yeah I date him. okay and with that we'll take a break <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Amazon. Amazon has curated selections of college essentials, from dorm room hacks to internet famous finds. And with Amazon's unbeatable deals and everyday low prices, there's no need for a second student loan. Plus, with Amazon's fast and reliable delivery, it's all there when it needs to be. Make the most of college for less with Amazon. Shop now at amazon.com slash off to college. My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a $100 credit on your next ad campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be to be and we're back with 
our favorite game created by our favorite man, producer Harry. Welcome to Jocular's Jargon Jamboree. <sighs> this is ER's first time playing. Yeah, and I just... I. Yeah, you didn't join in on everyone saying the title of the game, Because ER. I wanted to feel... I wanted to get the vibe. And, like, if... Uh, listening, strategically, if they would have been like, it's Jocular's Jargon Jamboree, I would have understood it was a different kind of game. Yeah. Oh, Jocular's Jargon <laughs> Jamboree! Yeah. See, that's a different kind of game. Yeah. Uh, we are playing as... Are we playing as a team? I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. I like playing yeah. as a team. I don't want to play individual sports. I've never no, liked that. Neither have I. Okay. Hello. This is how the game works. Uh, I've, I'm have i going to read some obscure... Everyone's sort of checked out already. <laughs> no, we're <laughs> excited! We're so engaged. Yeah, no, we're go so ahead, engaged. bud. Jesus I'm gonna, Christ. I'm going to... I have some sort of obscure sports terms, and I'm going to ask you to identify what they are <laughs> as part of the game. I love it. Jargon? Jamboree. Yeah, jocular. <laughs> All right, the first one. <laughs> first one. Knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Probably the people who compete using this part of the equipment known as a knock needed for the this accuracy-dependent sport. Let me read that again. Knock, knock. You wrote this. I know. Is it, is it rifle? Is it, the, is oh, it no, shooting? I'm not done reading the thing. Knock, knock. I feel like we already got it. Who's there? <laughs> Probably the people who compete using this part of the equipment known as a knock needed for this accuracy-dependent sport. It's got to be rifle, rifle, right? Shooting. Or archery. Or archery. Well, let's I'm, go I'm with rifle. rifle. I think rifle. The correct answer was archery. Ah! Archery, and the, and the knock is a notch at the end of the arrow that secures its place uh, on the bow string. So I did, we lost. I did archery <laughs> when... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, was, I don't, I don't really know if you've ever played trivia, Katie, but we usually we, we picked an answer. <laughs> no, but can I... I Shut up. <laughs> I you did archery when I was young and I loved it. And if anyone out there does archery and wants to invite me, please. Yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, that would be really cool. That would be really awesome. cool. But and we did Katie, lose. why didn't you fucking say that? Yeah, why didn't you say I that? I said archery, but I'm not and sure. And then you said... Go ahead, you Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry. Oh, let's, I'm never doing that. Yeah, let's let's keep playing your divisive little game. <laughs> let's go, Harry. I'll, I will say, last time it was a bunch of fun. <laughs> and, uh, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Go ahead, Harry. Up next. <laughs> no need for chopsticks. An Eskimo <laughs> roll isn't a delicious sushi treat, but a maneuver used in this buoyant sport. It, it sounds, is it water polo? Is it sailing? Yeah. Will you say it one more time? Oh, oh, no need fuck. for chopsticks. No, you're right. An Eskimo roll isn't a delicious sushi treat, but a maneuver used in this buoyant no, sport. I'm just like... I, it does. Is it sailing? No, no. I think you you are right because there's you wouldn't roll in sailing. Okay. Because to me, I'm like Eskimo roll sounds like a way to get a ball or like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think water polo. Okay, water polo. I'm gonna encourage you to think a little harder because you're on the right track in both ways. What? What's a so kind of sailing water. where where you would roll? Kind of sailing where you, where you would, would roll. roll, like the the can the the new canoe thing? Oh, kayaking. Oh, kayaking. Yes. Kayaking is correct. Yay! Harry, I liked that hint a lot. You I did forced too. us to use our brains. Great. Uh, you're welcome. Up next, somebody called Delta Airlines. <laughs> Just kidding. Their customer <laughs> service representatives won't have much to say about flying change, a movement type in this animal based sport. Just real quick, did y'all see how hard they <laughs> fucked up that Palestinian pin thing? Delta Airlines? Yes, no, they yeah. really did. So, so fuck them. Anyway, read it again, Harry. I was, yes. I got lost in the Palestine thing. Somebody call United Airlines. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, you know. Their customer service representatives won't have much to say about flying change, a movement type in this animal-based sport. Animal-based? Animal so dressage? I mean... No. It's... Is Animal it the jumping sport? Flying. The horse jumping? Flying change. I think it's a horse jumping thing. Harry, can I ask, are are some of these not Olympic sports? Uh yeah. No, they're not. Not I well <laughs> <are they? laughs> I, think, I think they actually are all okay. Olympic sports. I think that was what I did when I made the game. Okay, last that's week. A, okay. Yeah. 
I say horse jumping, but you all change. It's got to be horse jumping too, right? Flying change. And what other animal based sport is there? Or is fishing? No. Uh, animal based. You I mean, I give g- us a hint, or you feel good? I feel good. Okay. Okay, okay horse, horse jumping. jumping. Dressage. Correct. Right. Equestrianism, wow. dressage. Yes. <laughs> Where the horse changes the lead leg at the center while in motion. Did you like, at the canter like to, while in motion? I would like to talk to the people that came up with that because fl- the, the horses uh, aren't flying. No, no. It's like gallop change or something. Like it's not what change. I would have called it. You know, yeah. I would have called it something different. Did you see? S- reach out. Did you see Snoop watching dressage? Uh-uh. I mean, like that horse is crip walking. I have to get one of those horses. <laughs> Hell yeah! I need that horse. Do you oh, see what that horse is no. doing? Just the entire time. Okay. Number four. <laughs> remember when? Remember that time Lenny Kravitz was playing guitar and squatted down and wasn't wearing <laughs> underwear and his pants ripped and everyone posted the clip online. Yeah. That was crazy, sure, but it has nothing to do with repost, a style of counterattack in this combative sport. Fencing. Fencing. <laughs> That was one of that your That was best. unbelievable. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Can Congratulations. Su- can Thank we you. submit like five second clips to like the Pulitzer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you I might s- you might win a Grammy for this I one. I think you might yeah. get something. Oh, thanks guys. I yeah. appreciate it. That's huge. It just, you know, you write about what you love and something good comes out of it. Oh, here. <laughs> Put away your Pokeballs. Ganger isn't a ghost type Pokemon, but rather a release move in this flippy sport. Oh, a ganger. Uh, uh, um, gymnastics. Uh, it's either gymnastics or diving. I'm going gymnastics. Oh, are we? Sp- oh. No, 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 no. I'm not. We're not splitting. Whatever you want to do, Wait. I'll go with. No, no, Gang- no, no. A ganger. No. I think you're right. Wait. Ganger. I think you have a gainer and he's yes, mispronouncing gainer. it. That might be what's happening. Yeah. Okay. That's, what's a, that's a, what's great a fucking chance gainer, man? What's want- that? Do you know what that is? A gainer. I thought that was in. We're split on diving split and gymnastics. Di- diving and gymnastics. Can we submit both? Yeah. Can we submit both? Yeah. For a half point. Okay. Oh, shit. The correct answer is gymnastics. Damn it! I'm sorry, Katie. It's okay. I, you know what though? I was gonna say it was diving too. So I'm glad. It's I It's sh- kind of hard to I believe in yourself when literally no one else. <sighs> no, will. no, no. Look, did you see though? Did you see though? I you had you seemed like you had more yeah, expertise. Yeah, yeah. So I shut the hell up. And I should have shut the hell up. And and look, I kind of knew I how it was wrong. pronounced. Exactly. Gainer. Yeah. So, Gainer. You, so Gainer. trust your fucking Gainer. gut. I can't wait for someone to write in and say, Katie, you actually did pronounce it wrong. But anyway, guys, if Garnier. she pronounced it wrong, please don't say shit. Garnier. Yeah, blame me. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it is Harry's fault. <laughs> Producer here. Our... Ne- next up. Yes. <laughs> Dual income, no kids? Sure. That sounds great. <laughs> but in this context, a dink is actually a type of... Of shot played in this sandy sport. <sighs> beach volleyball. Yeah. Yeah, beach volleyball. We all know about dinks. Yeah. 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 Huh. How do you how do you start? I, I it's not the right time for this. I just want to know a, a little peek behind the curtain <laughs> on the creative process another time. You okay. you you heard dink and you thought that's fun. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, cute that, as I shit. Like that a lot. This is endearing me to you, Harry, which is good oh, because fine. we started off really weird today. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> this one, I forgot about this one. My friend got a kidney stone once. <laughs> yeah, actually, I would like for these to devolve into darker and sort of darker admissions yeah. from you, so this is a good start. My friend got a kidney stone once. It's apparently excruciating, but though it may feel like it, the process of them moving it through the urinary tract to exit the body through urine shouldn't be called a dry pass, as that's a type of pass in this splashy sport. Well, the, Wa- the, is that water, water polo? polo. <laughs> water polo. <laughs> is it water polo? It's water polo, correct. Yeah. Wow, I'm glad. Is your friend I, okay? I, yeah. Yeah, they're fine. It was years ago. Okay. <laughs> what's, what's <laughs> a dry pass is a, a pass where the ball is thrown to a teammate without it touching the water. That's cool. That makes sense. That is cool. Um, did they Harry, call you it are a glowing. dry pass? <laughs> no, it's not called that. Okay. <laughs> because it's wet because it comes out through the urine. Jesus. But it feels dry because ah. it's so painful. Jesus. That's sort of where I started with that one. 
my God. Okay. Next up. <laughs> Only two more. Okay, great, 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 great. I'm sweating. I'm loving it. Um, okay. Uh, though it sounds like the name of the latest sci-fi movie starring someone like Wesley Snipes or Sigourney Weaver, a laser run is actually the final event in this confusing, at least to me, sport. <laughs> <laughs> a laser run. In conf- it's confusing to him. Dang. It's confusing to Harry, so this could be track. <laughs> <laughs> it really could be. Le- yeah, it could, could be. Could we say track and field? <laughs> yeah, should we say track and field? If it's if it's confusing to Harry, I'm laser run. Say track and field. Is it track and field? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> the correct answer is modern pentathlon. Uh, so yeah, it is. Yeah. So it is. Uh, say you what you want to say. We and got the, the answer right. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> the final question. Okay. I was recently laid off from my job due to budget <laughs> cutbacks yes. and the volatile state of the podcast industry. But that's no reason to resent the cutback maneuver used in this foamy sport. In this foamy? Surfing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, it is. There it is. <laughs> Surfing. Surfing. Oh, don't worry, you guys. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, we, we, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, like, but we as a group. Yeah, don't worry. Him, I don't... existentially, I can't speak to that. <laughs> what What Harry did today was a, was a really sincere but tragic overshare. Yeah. In, in, in the form of a game. So, yeah. It Surfing is... is correct. <laughs> and that's how you play. Joculars, Jargon, Jamboree. Jamboree. Well, Harry, I love that game. Yay. <laughs> And Harry, it every month. It's nice because it's just an opportunity for Harry to share sad things <laughs> yeah. about his life. And and I, I, that wasn't that. There's only nothing Harry, sad you happened. told us about your sick friend and the fact that you got fired. Yeah, and Harry, <laughs> I, I, I think the jock straps are going to be endeared to you and sympathize with you. Finally. Finally. <laughs> oh, it's going to be like that movie with George Clooney where he just flies around laying people off. Up? In the air? No, up is the movie with the balloons. Um, <laughs> I thought that old man and that little kid go door to door and people off. Up? <laughs> Katie is out. Out. We'll be right Katie back. took a little knock. Three dykes, you're out. We're taking a break. Earlier when we were talking about <laughs> the threesome from the opening ceremonies, all I could think was three way more like they way. Uh, <laughs> why didn't you say it then? There wasn't an opportunity. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. <laughs> okay, okay, you guys, it's time for the mailbag. 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 You know what happens when I read accents? I know I right. should. Oh, okay. You want to rip it? Rip it. Sure. Um, Howdy. First, I'd like to say thank you for recording your podcast and allowing us, the Jockstraps, to listen to the shenanigans that go on. I'm a nurse in the emergency room, and listening to Jocular on my way to and from work gives me the space that feels comforting in a similar way as sitting around chit-chatting with my friends does. Mm -hmm. One, a silly little question I love to ask people is what their (laughs) gay percentage is. Okay, wow. My wife and I have a pride party each year in October. That's when Atlanta Pride is. And we always put up a poster board and everyone writes down their answers. And it's so fun to read them every year. So what are your gay percentages? Two. Another question I love to oh, ask do people. We, do you wanna, let's start. Uh, Why don't we answer the first okay, question? Okay, let's answer first. the okay. first question first. Um, uh, first of all, I hope Katie did your voice perfectly. perfectly. <laughs> and if not, get get yeah. Katie's voice transplanted. Yes. Um, my, I'm going to answer this and say my I don't my, my gay percentage is low. My queer percentage is high. I, interesting. Yeah, I I don't really I don't 
really I identify as like gay anymore, like in a strong way because of how trans I, you know, trans mass that I feel. But queer, I uh, like literally a hundred percent of my body is queer in like a very political way, in a spiritual way, and in a the that sexual way of finding a lot of different bodies beautiful. Ooh, um, very attached cool. to a lot of different brains. Okay, I love that. Very cool. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm 100% gay. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, I would say that you are. Beautiful. Yeah, you would say that I am? Yeah, I would. I okay. would. Yes. Yeah. So, Ooh. yeah. A gay as the day is long, 100%. Bro, I'm not even giving you a 99. No, not even a 99. Mm-hmm. There was a moment where I slipped to Lollapalooza 2012, and I, 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 I hated it. But you know what? A slip is one of the gayest things that happens. And I think it is. Because you're like... Maybe. Maybe. And then you you run. Yeah. So yeah. Run back. Um, I have historically dated men, as we know. Um, but I would say in, on a soul level, on a entertainment pop culture level. Oh, nice. Very gay. Beautiful. Beautiful. But you are you are what Darren Chris Darren Chris identifies as not sexually gay, but culturally gay. Well, I'm no, I know you are sexually gay, but what you're saying with like culture, you yeah. have been culturally yeah, gay been culturally even gay before for... you were out. Oh, way before. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say I've been culturally a late 90s lesbian since I was probably 10. Oh, I was going to say five. I like that. Five. Could I've be seen photos good. of you, Katie. OK, let's go with five. Let's go with five. So, so you're 100% culturally gay? 100% culturally gay. I think that's true for I think you. that's yeah, true. Yeah. I, like, I liked everyone's answer. 100% queer, 100% gay, gay, 100% culturally okay. gay. Mm-hmm. And I just want to pipe in real quick. To, just, just so no one else has to look it up, the headliner for Lollapalooza 2012 was Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was. Thank you. Just so Thank no one you. else has to do it. Dream of just California. So no wonder that having to UTN, you got confused. It, it when sometimes when I'm hearing the red hot chili peppers, yeah. I get so agitated. I don't know what I'm capable of. And the combination of red hot chili peppers and Bacardi. Bro. And 7 Eleven slushies. Rough. Yum. And oh, uh, and an and an American apparel uh, apparel crop top. You'll do you'll do straight stuff. Yeah, that's okay? true. You'll do some straight stuff. I just kind of imagined you outside of the Seven Eleven in Boys Town, like it's the Wild West, like taking a slurpee <laughs> and then throwing it down. You know exactly which one I'm talking about. Um, that one. This wrong. is the third time today Red Hot Chili Peppers has been brought up to me. That's a okay, curse. That's a day. curse. I think that's a, a that's witch's a curse. curse. Okay, <laughs> or like, something, oh, yeah, really right, positive. something really positive. Uh, uh, I don't oh, think so. Yeah. Okay, that now part two of this question. Go ahead. Okay, two. Another question. I love to ask people if they had to redo their life and couldn't choose the career they're currently in, what would you choose? I feel tempted to end this email in a form, form, formal manner. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Darby Lynn, pronouns she, they. Darby, we love you. Love I'm, you, Darby. I'm in love with you, Darby. Uh, we are all in love with you, Darby. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, they ask a great question here. I know. I, if you had to redo your life and couldn't choose the career you're currently in, what would you choose? I know what I would choose. Oh, what, what is what? it? Chef. I wish I could oh, be... I, love, yeah. I wish I could be, like, not in the, like, scary the bear way but in like the cool kismet <laughs> way of uh-huh. just like I, I want i wish i could i wish i could make art out of food mm. i love that because i just i love hosting people i love mm-hmm. making food for friends and yeah i wish i could i wish i was better at that for my birthday this year, I want it to be like a chopped challenge if you want to be one of the fellow chefs. <gasps> Wouldn't that be so fun? Oh, my God. I, I, I would love that challenge. I think I'd want to do like a, like a be like a master carpenter for like cool. luxury furniture. Whoa. Like Whoa. to use like really beautiful like old pieces of wood to make one off chairs. You know what I mean? Nothing mass. Just like everything's a piece of art. Because yeah. I originally was like ceramicist. But then <clears throat> I don't know. I really like fucking 
trees and wood and shit. So maybe that. You could oh, still do that. You still could do you that. You guys, yeah. that's, I came You're here from that. Like so it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did redo it. Uh, I was redoing a basement today. You guys, I'm sorry for how I look. Um, you look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. I was on a yacht in Miami, as you can tell by the way I'm dressed. I think I would choose also Darby Lynn. Um, what I will say is pretty much everyone in my family is a nurse. Nurses are everything. Yes. Um, to be in my life. I have a stethoscope tattooed on my arm because my dad was a nurse. Um, You've also played a character named Darby. Oh my God. Oh my I God, have, you have. I have Darby. Actually, I wrote this email. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. Darby and Yanis. I played your boyfriend. Yes, I know. I know. I did play I can't believe we're, you're not, you weren't going to bring that up. Just showing the stethoscope, but not mentioning know, that not, we not dated. Dar- Darby and Yanis. With, when you were Darby. Okay, well, we'll post a picture. I look great as Darby. And you Don't look great lie. as Yanis. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, I basically grew up in an ER because my dad ran one and I would play Roller Coaster Tycoon while he was, um, you know, with patients. Um, I would do patient, av- like, advocacy work. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, I think everyone's really... You would be good at that now. Yeah, everyone's really, really terrified good. at the hospital and you're in the scariest time and your family's terrified and it's uh, really important to have that person that understands what's going on just to help along the way. See, now you chose something that was good for the community and I chose something that was like, oh, I, I want to. Both of no, those are good no, for the community. Being, being, a, being a chef is good for the community. Good food good food heals people. That's true. Okay. Yes, it does. It okay. does. You're acting like you didn't watch every season of Top Chef. Okay, you're right. You're right. Please. I love that. And, yeah. and, and where is this bitch going to sit at the end of the I long mean, day after advocating that, in I one of my beautiful chairs? Thank you. Guys, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this too. Well, Thank you so much, Darby. Thank Darby, you, Darby, thank Lynn. you. And thank you all for listening. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Jocular Pod. And please rate and review, but only if it's five stars. Okay? Please. And someone send us something nice to Harry in the emails. Yeah, something yeah. really nice. To he Harry. obviously needs a lot of fucking help. <laughs> he needs help. <laughs> and we love hearing from you, Jock Straps. So email us, email us at jocularpod at gmail.com. You can also leave comments on Spotify now. Yeah, what's that going on? on? Spotify, uh-huh. you can Do we listen. We have to. new things. We have we have some comments. <gasps> we can moderate them. So uh, oh, just, oh just shit! Yesterday, last week there was one being like, "How come you bleeped bleeps name?" We all know who you're talking about. Oh, I didn't wait. post that one. Okay. But oh, so you moderate it, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wish we could say bleep's name, and the the fact uh, of the matter is, we can't no, say we bleep's can't, name. Can't, I'm sorry, we can't say bleep's yeah, name. Yeah, we we're doing too much inroading into the sports community. We can't piss everybody off yet. Um, oh, heads up, Jack Straps. We're talking about the book "The Other Olympians" by Michael Waters on August fifteenth episode. Um, we're reading it now, and we love it so much, and you all should read it too. Say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Jocular is hosted by ER Fightmaster, Tian Tran, and Katie Kershaw. Jocular is a production of Hyperobject Industries with Metal Arc Media and was produced by Harry Nelson. Original music and theme are by Nick Gage and ER Fightmaster. Our executive producers are Claire Slaughter, Harry Nelson, Dan Libertard, and Adam McKay.